We're not perfect. Oh, I just dropped one. Ah, ow. Ow. You're roasting me. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just... We've made mistakes. Wait, what? It... Oh my god. Holy And even our most ardent defenders have to admit that out of our more than 6,000 videos, we've made a few that are below average, a couple that are pretty bad, and if we're being totally honest with ourselves, we have made some absolute stinkers. Well, it's time to stop hiding and face our shame. To celebrate our 10 year anniversary as an independent company, I'm bringing on some of our OGs to help me react to the worst videos we've made in the last decade. I'm talking our most disliked, cringeworthy, unprofitable videos that will leave you either full of secondhand embarrassment or so bored that you just wanna turn off the screen and contemplate a lifestyle completely free from technology so you never have to experience something so awful ever again. But you won't do that. Because if you did, you wouldn't get to experience our reaction to our folly. And you wouldn't get to experience this segue to our sponsor, Build Redux. Build Redux makes it easy to configure your new build with support guides to help along the way. They also offer competitive pricing as compared to building a PC yourself. Head to buildredux.com slash Linus and start your new build today. In no particular order, here is the bad LTT playlist. This one's a bit before your time, uh, not much. So today I'm gonna be having a quick look at a new product from ASUS. It's kind of like a random product. I don't know where this came out of total left field here, but it's called- This is a USB cable. <laughs> to give you some idea how this video came to be, I was still working at NCIX, the computer store, and there's a certain number of videos I had to make a month to get my full bonus. <laughs> If we got to the 25th, 26th, 27th of the month, and I wasn't very close, I started just walking around the warehouse grabbing almost literally any bull I hadn't made a video about yet and filming an unboxing. Okay, this is a two minute, there. 20 second video of a cable that yes, I promise you, I do not even plug in. <laughs> so that's, that's kind of neat. So you can kind of, you can do this with it. Oh, very nice. Wow, you can pull back the foreskin on it. <laughs> So I guess all we're gonna be able to do here is have a quick look at the Crosslink product and then I'll have to post my thoughts on the uh, annotations in the videos. I don't know whether I ever did that. Those are gone This now. was 12 years ago, but if I did, they're gone. Yeah. Ah. Oh, it's Luke, revive your old laptop. Still be what was so bad about this? What are we might have. possibly doing one handing a laptop? <laughs> is it raining? Why are you in sweatpants? They leave nothing to the imagination. <laughs> But before we do that, let's explore what it's like to use this thing with the hard drive in it. This takes so oh long. Oh my God. We were so bad at making videos. How did anyone watch any of this? I think I, I would have either left the video by now or disliked and left the video by now, to be fair. So they see the saw, they see the face shield, and then he just swaps the hard drive for an SSD. <laughs> and you've taken three minutes to get to that point. <laughs> Are you gonna do anything else? Check out this video where I detail how to make a test bench for basically free. And I'll see you next time. No wonder he got canned from the writing team. <laughs> hey man, it's a good tip. Let me tell you, when someone wants to sponsor a video featuring their wireless headphones, <laughs> their projector, their charger. Vacuum. Their robot vacuum. The writing team works overtime trying to find something tangentially related that is actually interesting and then to shoehorn the product into it. That is what you are about to witness. Sony reached out to sponsor a video about their new WH-1000XM4 headphones. We've got this cool pair of wireless headphones that no one wants to hear about. <laughs> and we basically turn a U-Store unit into a theater that has the headphones as the audio device. So no one knows you're in there, I guess? What does building a theater in a storage locker have to do with wireless headphones? Especially when the only part of the video that I've seen where you listen to audio, you were listening it through the TV speakers. When you work with a company like Sony, who happens to make a sound bar uh, and a TV and a game console, there's a lot of politicking that seems to take place over at that company. Right. So it came out of the headphone group's budget but I mean, heaven forbid we show anything non-Sony that Sony happens to make as well. Probably the stupidest thing about this video is that it was shot 
before the PS5 came out, but released after the PS5 came out due to delays on their side. Oh. So we were showcasing a sick compact home theater with a PlayStation 4. And it was so much work. Finding a place that would let us film in their like use store, like, this oh. is a huge security concern. Yeah. This is classic. How is this one of the worst things we've done? People didn't even dislike it. They this, didn't watch it. I disagree. Oh. The actress we hired to be like a background dancer in our rap video thought that she was like getting a ride to the SkyTrain after. And I was like, how on earth am I gonna drive you anywhere? I, I can barely even get into my car. Taryn, who didn't have any experience driving stick, had to drive me home because I was like buried in this armor in my car, which was standard. This shoot was an absolute disaster. Thinking, how can I turn this around? Be an imperial instead of being a clown. Oh, we didn't bleep it, we just muted it? Yeah, so that's one of the things that people hated about it is that there was some kind of miscommunication in the edit. Yeah. That's not great. I wanted it censored. I think censoring is comedic. Yeah. And I intentionally wrote like really cringy lyrics for it. Yeah. Because I wanted it to just be like full of bleeps, essentially. But you don't just like remove the entire audio track. No. I arrived at the scene about 10 minutes after dispatch got the call. It was easy enough to determine the cause of death. But the real mystery is why it happened. I think this may be the worst. I don't even know what accent this is supposed to be. Chicago? Brooklyn? You want to jump in for this one? I think before. Sometimes things get rough. They hit the ground, never get up again. Open and shut case. But this was different. <laughs> My mom made fun of me before, during, and after this shoot for having no idea how to handle a cigarette. It was also a conscious decision that Brad Pitt style, Luke would be eating in every single shot. <laughs> Fast and powerful. A looker, too. This was a gaming notebook with all the latest pies. What's even worse than my cigarette handling is my accent, though. And the Isaac, accent. Isaac, the actor that is actually the actor who was in this video, yeah. was training him on set how to speak in both yeah. a Boston and a New York accent. And we were just trying to pick which one was he less bad at. So it was a fall then? Nah. This notebook was still running when it hit the ground. But that didn't last for long. <laughs> <laughs> That's so bad. You may have never heard of Final Mouse, the company responsible for the creatively named Final Mouse. But despite its obscurity, I tried so hard to turn it into a host. <laughs> yeah. I think he just didn't want it that he hard. Didn't want to yet. Yeah. He was very qualified to make this video. And even the packaging is bare with just a small slip of paper with instructions and a Final Mouse sticker. Very passionate about mice and mouse pads and actually very lots of things. And when you talk to him about this stuff, he's fine. But you point a camera at the poor guy, especially back then. This is the first one I felt actually improved my game. It's just so light and responsive. <laughs> I remember how many times we did this take two. Not to, like it was not his fault. It was just, it was a hard thing yeah. to do. So this is something new. It's called Tech Showdown. And if you don't like it, TS. Get it? Ooh. The Tech Showdown videos didn't work. They were so hard too. Oh my God. Absolutely grueling. I think the funny thing to remember about this is we had so little resources at this time, even though we had the office and everything. I'm using a piece of diffusion to divide this video set. A lot of people have asked for Skype Edwards to come back, and this was actually an attempt to continue this kind of spirit of Skype Wars, but in a way that wouldn't destroy our entire production schedule for an extended yeah. period of time. It didn't work out that way. <laughs> it doesn't help that Luke and I are shit at arts and crafts. <laughs> yeah. Yours is boring. I stand by it. Yours is sh <laughs> <laughs> I stand by that too. It's on enthusiast hardware where we first see the innovations that trickle down to the mainstream stuff a couple of years later. This is Why is this so hated? Welcome to a bit of a new style video for me. I'm calling it a micro review. People don't like micro reviews, I guess. Just least viewed video? Well, that's why we don't cover Motorola phones anymore. Yep. <laughs> This video actually starts with an incredibly 
frustrating moment for me. Now, this motherboard arrived and I was like, yay, Christmas time, yay. Why did we private this? It has 804,000 views. You know what? I think I remember. People were so mad about, the bathroom about me like, hanging it off the edge of a cardboard thing to screw it in from the bottom. That I was just like, I don't feel like dealing with this anymore. I'm just gonna set it private for a bit. <laughs> and then you never... And then I guess I never fixed it. <laughs> I have privated so few videos in the history of the channel that... <laughs> never thought to go back? Yeah. Even some of the videos that are supposed to be private aren't private and I haven't gone back to fix them because when the channel was hacked a few years before we actually went indie, part of restoring the channel was that Google restored the channel. Every video, oh. public, private, deleted. Deleted? Was back up. <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay. I mean, I knew they don't delete anything, but wow, they really don't delete anything. Since when is this full-size tower more attractive than this little HDMI stick? They're both computers and the impossible standards set by the media. All computers are beautiful and you're gonna hurt the little compute stick's feelings. <laughs> yeah. So you can keep your scummy hands off of it. This is terrible. I'm so uncomfortable. This is really bad. I don't remember this literally at all. I've like blocked this out like a trauma. The definition of the Intel compute stick is actually rather simple. It's an Intel based computer on a stick. <laughs> That was great writing, <laughs> The first six unique items are Windows 8.1 with Bing. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is pretty funny. That was all right. Okay, <laughs> ready? Yeah, are you sure you're ready for this? Actually, hold on yeah. a second. Let me just, let me just fix well, the- Well, no, uh, you don't, it's, it's already set, I, I set no, it up before we did anything. This was, this was your this, idea. I know, This I bit know. was your idea. I 100% know. I argued against it. And I 100% apologize. It was a terrible <laughs> idea. He had to make it seem like, oh, well, Linus is gonna do the camera now because I'm in front of the camera for this video. And we've wasted already 30 seconds. <laughs> Gets used to be so bad. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up, Brent? Oh, I'm talking so loud. Why am I screaming? Oh yeah, I remember this. Uh, the cell phone <laughs> flashlight going over the shot yeah. like that. I know that trick. All of Brandon's personal SD cards That's at work. That's true, yep, yep, yeah. yep. We already had a no personal stuff at work policy by did this we? point, I think. Uh, I don't think we we did. still needed a lot of people's personal stuff. Seven years ago, maybe not. Yeah, I don't think so, Linus. <laughs> Cards are slightly overclocked here. And here I'm gonna take a baseline idle temperature reading. So I'm at 67, 65. Your voice sounds so different. 65 in the background. And the cat is moving the projector. Don't do that. Oh, is this even a channel people watched, you know? This is our least viewed video ever. Let's see if we can fix that. Guys, get in there. <laughs> watch the gray video. Go watch the gray. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to another RC Arctic Hobby Unboxing. This is the Aqua Rider 703 Tugboat. People love the fire truck. Did they not like the Aqua Rider? Fire truck was a fluke, Luke. Imagine watching a video where someone unboxes an RC boat and doesn't even bother to put it in water. So we're doing a bit of an in-progress shot here. We Gotta love that editing. <laughs> I'm like, hold on a sec. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> Dip to black. Our extra tires are deposited gracefully on the deck. It came with a lot of extra tires. <laughs> I'm not sure why. Now something to bear in mind, guys, is this one does not come with a remote. So you have to get a transmitter. So uh, we'll be unboxing that one and then trying this guy out, hopefully uh, on a lake or a pond or bathtub near you. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> You're not gonna know from this video. I'll have to. Haha, <laughs> -ha, right? You guys saw the title where I said I'm unboxing the MacBook Air. Clearly that was a lie. This is the Asus ZenBook 13.3 inch Ultra. I, no, I'm just kidding. I actually am unboxing the MacBook Air, but before you hit the dislike button, it's for a very good reason. It's so that I can compare it against the Asus ZenBook. So, the MacBook Air, oh, yes. You tried to dupe people into thinking that you were a laptop from Intel, I and then. Tried to dupe them and then undupe them. So people you were concerned. It was clickbait and left. That's actually really funny. They didn't watch long enough to see that it was a joke. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to part two of my BlackBerry iSwitched. 
I'm Slick, and this part two will be a continuation of last time where it's just more of a general use case of the phone. Every time people tell me like, man, you're such a good host, whatever, I'm like, you haven't seen the Blackberry video. It would be nice if, like the camera app, if I held one of my notifications, it would open the app that corresponds with that notification. I hadn't slept at all the night before. <laughs> I asked Linus if I could shower before I filmed it, and he's like, no, we don't have time. So my, my hair is like going in a bunch of weird directions. Oh. The idea was that I had done an I Switch to Windows Phone series for 30 days, and I was kind of like vlogging updates as we went. It was kind of cheap, easy content, and it performed pretty well. So I was sitting here going, oh yeah, you know, it'd be crazy. Luke, you should do like a switch to Blackberry. You weren't very good yet. <laughs> My hair looks like a spaceship. Like it has a pointed front and it has wings on the back. You actually look like someone who doesn't know how to do their, like, groom themselves. <laughs> Remember all those videos we did of coverage at CES? Well, Western Digital remembers them too. Oh. God. This was one of the worst brand deals that I ever signed. We needed it, we had to go. But they asked for the world. Gotta give them credit for negotiation. They wanted seven videos. Covering a storage company at a show one time is really hard. We were desperate to get any views on any of this. And this is what desperation looks like. And the more views those videos get, the more crazy, insane stuff we get to give away once we get back from the show. The orange handle, isn't that an ax? Yes, it is. Why? Now, when I say crazy, <laughs> I'm not talking like your average run of- I can't watch it anymore. Oh, no, no, you gotta keep watching. No. No. Then we get to give away two Western Digital one terabyte Velociraptors, two four terabyte- no. <laughs> Did Yvonne no. shoot this? But I haven't even revealed the grand prize yet. If the video's average. Why is she married to me? <laughs> this cannot continue to exist. <laughs> Welcome to the prototype build of the pizza heater computer. The idea is you put a slice of pizza on here and your computer keeps your pizza warm. Yeah. The computer should keep the pizza warm. You tried to take cold <laughs> pizza. Still got a million views. <laughs> you know, I think that was the argument back in the day too, that like this video went up, it still performed okay for the time, even yeah. though it wasn't not at all the concept that you approved. I said, all you gotta do is make sure that all the hot air is funneled up to oh, the yeah. metal plate. The Miscommunication was that the pizza was supposed to already be hot. <laughs> I don't know what his problem was. <laughs> These are two 980 Ti's. They should have a pretty good amount of thermal output. <laughs> <laughs> then there was the anti RGB PC. This ended up getting 3 million views. Whoa, that's a lot of dislikes. A lot of views. But people were so mad at us. For, for spray painting? For spray painting the hardware and turning it black. Why? Um, it was actually the motherboard that people were really oh. mad about. This was probably not the best way to do this. Yeah. James was pretty new. Yeah. This right here is the design that made James Dyson, like, like that James Dyson, go to his team and say, You know what, guys? All these other upright corded vacuums, blow them up. This was not entirely my fault. The scandal or the controversy was that all the major tech creators were sponsored by Dyson on exactly the same day. Yeah, it's terrible. People's subscription boxes got absolutely flooded with these videos, making them pretty angry. Thankfully, we came away pretty unscathed relative to some other guys who just were like, I'm vacuuming and I love this thing so much. This is definitely my real thoughts about it. I really didn't say much about it at all. Ah! I just did a studio tour no and then happened to be vacuuming a lot. 
This is our most disliked video this year. Oh, really? You need to get a media server. But Lies, I have a Google Drive where I keep my photos. <laughs> I didn't realize how kind of hated Plex had become over the years. The timing of the release for this was that it came out right after the security breach. That's never gonna go well. Not great. Took me a while to find um, that, but yeah. uh, that, that, was, that was BS. <laughs> that was BS right there. That was. This is one of those ones where we had to make a video about a product that we didn't really have anything to say about. So we made a video about something else entirely. We got this one wrong. I thought people might be kind of interested in basic game development tools and what you could do as a relative layperson in a relatively short amount of time. He looks very excited to be in this video. <laughs> We used to upload behind the scenes of our ad productions for companies to LTT to help promote the ads. Did not work. And I guess this was our least viewed video that year. <clears throat> what am I, this is just classical music and like bullshit so far. Everyone looks so young. I remember Brandon's transitions. <laughs> what is this that run? run. <laughs> Whoa, what? What was that for? I don't know. <laughs> oh yeah, that's hey, bad. Hey, these are some pretty good stunts though, okay? <laughs> this is the all new one series from BMW, a line of sporty economical hatchbacks that might surprise you. This was one of the most difficult brand projects we ever did. Everyone that was on the trip when they came back, like I didn't even get to see the video and I was like, this is gonna be rough. We flew all the way to Germany. I shoot the intro in front of BMW Vogue. We've got this shot where like the rep flips the keys to me and I get in the car, we get driving. And halfway through the day, whoever the coordinator was for this project apparently has no idea how video production works, kind of goes, mm, no, we don't want to use any of that. We don't want any BMW representatives in the video. We don't want any BMW buildings in the video. They didn't like oh, the disclosure no. that I had that it was sponsored because it makes it feel too commercial. I'm like, well, it has to be. It is. They had us throw out literally everything that we had shot. And back then you'd only have one day. I only had one day. Yeah. And then towards the end of the day, they were like, well, you can just stay another day. I'm like, no, I actually cannot stay another day. This video is the reason that we have a clause in our sponsor contract that they're only allowed, I think it's two edits maximum. Every time it went back to them, it would go one layer up the management chain and they would want to have their say on it. And we just had this video sitting for months, unable to release it when we needed stuff for the schedule. Whoa! It's real! Unlike Project Valerie, which we saw last year at CES from Razer, this one actually makes an ounce of sense. This product ended up being a complete grift. Oh no! It looked credible enough for a pre-production product, but this never got any farther than Science Fair Project, and they just are still taking people's money. That's right, it's back in the studio, and in this video, we're gonna see the solid gold Xbox controller. We should never have made the gold controller. No. I thought this was gonna go like kind of viral. I can't believe they made a gold controller. It's just bad timing. We could, <sighs> yes, it's stupid, I get it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I can't believe we're gonna talk about our sponsor. Vessi, do you ever struggle figuring out what to wear in unpredictable weather? I did until I started wearing Vessi. Vessi says that their shoes are 100% waterproof, keeping your feet dry in the wettest of weather. Their lightweight and easy to pack sneakers offer you reassurance when the snow and rain start coming down. Putting them on and taking them off is super easy, and their shoes are made from cruelty-free products right down to the glue. Whether it's a rainy city or a rocky trail, the herringbone tread design is there to help stop you from slipping around. So treat your feet with Vessi footwear and save $25 with our offer code Linus Tech Tips at Vessi.com slash Linus Tech Tips. If you guys enjoyed this video, you might enjoy the one where we take a look at our most profitable videos. That one was definitely more fun for me than this. It was really hard to watch.